Hello, welcome to my channel Judge All Nation. In this video Christian Prince will made understanding and education about Islam to all Muslims. Also Christian Prince educates Muslims that in the Lord Jesus there is truth and no other. Now let's take a look and see what Christian Prince will tell you by arguing with Muslims. Enjoy watching this video and God bless you. Okay, listen. Is it true that your prophet, he, 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 he bring verse from Allah in the morning, bring in command, and second day he changed his mind? Is it true? He permitted it later because you know there is... He, listen to the question uh, carefully. He says something in the morning today or afternoon second day in the morning he said the opposite is that true or i'm making things up okay because there is there's something called abrogation okay also... so you are saying to me that you have a prophet he have a god he gave him command at 12 o'clock he gave him the opposite command at six o'clock after six hours how about you understand something okay hmm. this is normal this is normal why because how it's normal if allah he said as an example, in the case of murder, does the murder change? Murder is a murder. He said, the free for the free, stay for the slave, women for the women. What that, why I need to change it second day? When Jesus said in the Bible, like uh, it's been told like uh, an eye for eye. But well, Jesus, now, first of all, Jesus, he is speaking about law is exist, you know, a thousand years ago. And this is not second day, this is not six hours after. And Jesus, he did not say, I came to destroy. He said, I came to complete. So what it was fit for a time, it doesn't fit for the other time. And what was fit in the time of Moses is still fit in the time of Jesus. What Jesus said, I did not come to destroy. He did not, he did not delete any law. He did not say, this is forbidden. Listen, don't, don't make things, uh, don't make, you know, Jesus, he complete. As an example, he says that, uh, 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 you know, it's been said to you, but I say, which means I completed, I did not delete it. He did not delete it. He did not abrogate it. But the, here we have, <laughs> listen carefully, here we have a murder. Free for a free. Slave for a slave. Is that justice? Women for a woman. I don't know. I don't change the topic, okay? No, I'm asking you, how in the world your God, he makes such a stupid mistake? So you're a prophet, false prophet, he make an order in the case of murder. And murder is a murder. Murder in the time of Moses is the same in the murder in the time of Muhammad, the same in the time of Jesus, the same in our time. So if Allah is just, he will not change this law forever. Doesn't matter what year, 10,000 years from now. This is not about drinking alcohol today, tomorrow is not allowed. This is about a murder. Murder is a murder. So when you're a prophet, he says, free for free, women for women, slave for a slave. Is that a just from God? That if I kill your slave, you kill my slave? It, if was, I... abro it was abrogated. It was abrogated. It's abrogated. Don't... It was abrogated second day, correct? And don't don't say about this because you'd have abrogation. Listen, no, What's we the... don't. Uh, no, we don't. That's that's stupid it's... of you to say. This is the same prophet. This is the same prophet, he come with the law, he publish it. Few hours after, he delete it. Because Jesus people, start, listen, because people they start laughing at such a, such a justice. So, if, if, is, is this written in the book of Allah or written in the book of Muhammad, this verse? <clears throat> okay. Jesus abrogated the whole law of Moses, okay? He never so, abrogated one thing of Moses. Yeah, really. Okay, but give me one I... thing. Give me one thing. Abrogated. Go ahead. Okay, okay. Eye for eye, tooth for tooth. Okay. And then he said, "Love your your enemy." And if okay. someone slaps it's, you from it's the still, right, still, it's 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 still, no, it's still, my friend, love your enemy will not change that. The one who committed this, Jesus, he said, the one who lived by the sword, by the sword we shall die. Which means, if you kill, you will be killed. What Jesus is saying, if somebody hit you in your face, use the Roman law. Don't beat him. Now you have a state. You have a government. They will arrest him. There's a law. If you hit him in the right cheek, uh, 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 the right cheek, you go to jail. So Jesus did not destroy the law of Moses. Still, the one who killed will be killed. 
still the one who do crime, he will be punished. So you are fabricating stories now and how your God, he gave an order in the case of murder. He said free for free, okay, slave for slave, no problem. And then women for the women. Why Allah abrogated the law few hours after? It was abrogated because this was known uh, uh, as a tribal law and it, it was it was allowed in the start, okay? And then it was abrogated, okay? It's so, fine because... Okay, so Allah, he changed his mind after six hours and he found that he should not accept, he should not follow the tribal... Are you saying your God, he was taking the law which is stupid? <laughs> and then he thought about it. He said to himself, this is dummy. I'm not going to follow such a law. <laughs> Are you saying that? You, you, you can say I don't hear you. Okay, you say it's not uh, the Old Testament. The Old Testament. Do, don't change topic. So Allah now, he gave them an order. In the case of murder. Murder! It's a murder. Where is justice? So are you saying that this law, which Allah, he gave you, said this is a tribal law. So your God, he commits sin and he follows stupid law, which is not his law. Is that the law of Allah or this is the law of the tribes? Allah permits something and then bans it. He has the okay. right to do that. Okay. Why Allah, he permitted if it's wrong? Just like in the Quran, it says that Allah allowed uh, Jews to eat some things and he then banned them from eating some stuff. So it doesn't Abdul, mean this is a fabrication Allah... anyway. First of all, the Quran says Allah did not forbid the Jews from eating everything, anything except what Israel forbid himself from eating. So stop lying. Number two, what does have to do with this? When Allah, he approved this law, was this law wrong or good? Bad or good? You can ask the same thing in your Old Testament. Don't change the topic. No, I, I asked the same thing. I did not say anything wrong. It's you who changed it. I didn't change it. And this is the same prophet. And this is a few hours after. So now Allah, he gave Allah. And then the people start laughing at Allah. And then Muhammad, he go to bed. And then he wake up in the morning. He says, Allah gave me better law. And by the way, what is the better law? Do you know? Are you there? <laughs> Hello? Can you hear me? Hello? Okay. How Hello? many How many people die wrong by this law? In the case of murder, free for free. So if a white man kill a white man, a white man will be killed. If a white man kill a black man, a black man will be killed. What kind of God this God is? Wow. <laughs> Hello. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. Are you there? you hear me now i hear you so was this was okay, this law I, was this law bad or good this law this verse in front of us is it bad or good <coughs> this is i'm losing your voice okay let me repeat again was this verse bad or good This, mm -hmm. this was a good, uh, this was, it was good. It was good. It was allowed. It was good. So is it good that if in case if I kill your wife, you kill my wife? <laughs> is that good? Hello? <laughs> Hello?
Paris de l'Abdoul. Mm, I don't hear anything. So, when if if I kill your wife, is that okay? Is that good? If is it, is it good? If I kill if you kill my wife, I kill your wife. Is that good? It's using the neighbor internet. <clears throat> It's good. If it's good, why it Allah? Was, it was if it was good, if it's good, why Allah he deleted then? Because it's we don't have subjective morality. We our morality is based on the religion, like. But this is the morality of Allah. It is the morality of Allah? If I kill a woman, you kill my women. Is that right? Is that fair? What about you kill the killer? Why in your Torah it says kill? Abdul, says this murder. is not about just killing. If I kill, you kill me. You don't kill my wife. If I kill your wife, I should be killed, not my wife. You're a stupid God saying in the case of murder, free man for free man. So your God, he separate, divide between you free and slave. So in the case of a free, free man will be killed for killing a free man. If he kill a slave man, he will not be killed. And then he says, Female for the female, slave for the slave. So if I kill your slave, you don't kill me, you kill my slave. So now we have two victims. <laughs> what you don't get, what you don't get, at this is also your Old Testament has many laws that are Abdul, not acceptable today. You keep, you keep you keep running away to my to my law to my law, but you cannot answer about your law. Listen carefully. So when your God did abrogation, did he abrogation because he want to make better Quran or he is not making better? You can also say that about your book. Don't change the topic. We don't have such a thing. There's nothing change. Okay, so you apply all the Old Testament. There's, yes, we apply all the Old Testament. There's nothing. But because we don't have a law, we don't have actually a government which is going to practice the Old Testament to practice it. Moses was a king. He was a prophet. He was the ruler. We don't have that. We don't have a government. Go by the Bible. If we do, the Bible will be our law. So stop being stupid now. I'm asking you, when your God, he abrogated this verse, did he make a better verse or not better verse? I cannot answer this. Okay. Why you cannot answer this? What's the problem? Always a law for each time. This is not the question. When Allah he abrogate because what what each time? This is second day. What each time? You Muslims are funny. We are talking about the second day. We are not talking about ten thousand years after. Okay, for 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 for, 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 for I'm asking you. When Allah he abrogated this law, did he come with better law or worse law? It came with a better law, better law, better than the tribal law. Okay, so this is what the tribal law, not the law of Allah then. Because Allah permitted it. Like okay, he permitted so Allah listen carefully guys. Allah, he, uh, he accept the tribe law to be his law. And then Allah, when he went to his office for a few hours, he said to himself, this is a stupid law. I'm not going to follow the tribe law. This is what you just said. Like I said, you can also say that about <coughs> Jesus abrogating. You cannot, no, you cannot. First of all, Jesus came long after Musa. Secondly, he says, I came to complete, not to destroy, so stop lying. And he did not say, I'm going to give you a Quran better than the Quran. Here we have, you You keep repeating, this is a tribal law, which means the Muslim, they lie when they say that the Quran written in the book of Allah in the sky. Because you just said this is a tribe Allah, this is not the law of Allah. So if the Quran written with Allah before He gave it to us, this is what is written there. This is not the tribe Allah. Was this book exist? This verse was exist before mankind is exist or not? It it was in the days, in the days where. Where where they had to use a specific law, and he had to. Abdul, Abdul, Abdul. God don't adopt. God he order. God he don't follow pagans. Those are pagans. So if your God is taking wrong decision, 
by following the tribal law, which is racist law, obviously, that only free will be killed for free and slave for a slave and women for a woman. Allah is, cannot be God then because he is following pagan law. Is your God Allah supreme or he is a follower of the pagan? You can like I like okay when 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 we speak about the Old Testament, okay, Christian scholar says it Abdul, is a Abdul, tribal law. Abdul, I feel I feel sorry for you because you could not answer anything. You keep jumping to Old Testament, Old Testament, and you stupid idiot. The Old Testament in the Quran says in the case of murder, in the case of murder for Moses, he says if someone he killed a one innocent person, as if he killed all mankind. This is from the Old Testament and your prophet copying the Old Testament. So stop being stupid and Jesus forbid us from killing anyone. So here you notice that in the case of murder, your prophet, he is killing the victims, more victims. He's not killing the murderer. So in the case of a free, for a free, if I kill a free man, a free man will be killed, which means equal to me. If I kill a slave man, I will not be killed. Another slave, my slave will be killed as a penalty for me. So your prophet is not following the teaching of God. He is following tribal law, as you said. And this verse cannot be from the, this, is, this verse cannot be from God then, because it is you who keep repeating, this is the tribal law. <clears throat> That's not what I said. I meant this is was permitted, like Muta'a was permitted at first. And no, then no, you see, here we go. Muta'a was permitted, and then your prophet forbid it, and then your prophet permitted it, and then your prophet permitted, and then your prophet forbid it, and then your prophet permitted, because he's a joker. So, this is so hold on. No, here we go. You want, you want to show your reference? I'm going to bust you, okay? I busted you. With you bust me, one. you bust, bust me, absolutely. So listen carefully. <clears throat> when your prophet, he permitted the muta, was, it permitting, was, was he permitting adultery? It was forbidden. Forbidden, forbidden, forbidden. Did he, he permit? What do you mean forbidden? Did he permit it or he forbid it? He forbid it. He okay. permitted it at first. I allowed it. Okay, hold on. Didn't... Who is the one who gave a permission for the muta first? The prophet say, didn't like he said it's okay. No, it's did. not. It's not the prophet. It's the Quran. Is that true? In Islam, perfectly, what what the prophet does is what Allah told him. He okay, because the prophet is Allah. So look, guys, listen carefully. Allah, He said in the Quran, chapter four, verse twenty-four, you do muta. No, Muhammad, no. what? No, it's in the Quran. Read it. It doesn't say that. Okay. Doesn't say that. Okay. Okay. What well, do you do? You want to challenge me? I want to challenge you, donkey. You want to show me that your prophet is donkey? Okay, go ahead. You are you are a donkey. Okay, let's see who is the donkey. This is a chapter 4 in the front of everybody, and you will read for me, and everybody will laugh at you, at your prophet Muhammad. Here we go. <laughs> the, the adultery, the, 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 the fornication prophet. Here we go. The fornicator Muhammad is the one who is promoting fornication and making business of pimp. You know, you get paid for sex. And you are saying to me that this is not in the Quran? We'll read it. Read it. <clears throat> Is it this is about the muta? Which 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 interpretation you like me to show you? You want a Jalalain, you want Ibn Abbas, you want uh, Ibn Kathir, what do you want? Right, okay. Can can I ask you something? Please? Don't ask me something, don't ask me something, read it. If, if, if Muta was permitted, read it, why, why read, is it banned? Uh, read it. Sunni no, you see, it's never been bad. Never. I can show you a hadith that after Muhammad's death, Omar he practiced muta. Uh, Abu Bakr, he practiced muta. All the Muslim practiced muta, and Muhammad was dead. So how it is banned? We don't do, we don't do it in our country. Listen, I'm first of all, you don't do it in your country. You do it. You just to change the name. You call it Zawaj Arufi, Zawaj a friend. You have tons of names now. You did lie. You say chapter four twenty four doesn't say anything about muta. Read it. Why you lie? It says this practice was later abrogated. Thank you. So, so, so it was in the Quran. You did lie. You said to me, it's not in the Quran. I said to you, chapter 424, you said, no, it's not. And you said, I will make you, I will, I, I will get you busted and you call me donkey. So now you are the donkey. So either you are a donkey or you are a liar. Which one is you?
So you have a God who order you to rent women for sex. Is that true? This was this is a tafsir, okay? But according to him, it was. But this is the Quran. Him. This is the Quran. In Arabic, it says, "Famastam ta'atum bihinna, bihi min hinna." So it says here. This is where the muta coming from. The word muta coming from "stam ta'atum." <clears throat> so. Who is the one who came with this? Allah. And why it's in the tafsir? Because they are explaining the verse. And who is explaining the verse? Your scars. Did your prophet, if a woman and a man, he said, if a man and a woman, they agree to F each other for three days, they can F each other for three days? No. Again, you want to be a donkey? Read the hadith. Here we go. Three days. Your prophet was a hippie. Muslims if in each other. Read. It's not showing on the screen yet. Mm, that's the one in the screen. Uh huh. Now, does it say on the screen? Says the muta marriage has been cancelled, made unlawful. If read, a man read, and a read. What, are you, what, are, what are you reading, my friend? Uh, guys, uh, guys, look at this stupid religion. <clears throat> so this is a god. He asked Muslims to go if each other, and then this god he told the Muslims stop if if in each other. So if it was wrong, why he allow it anyway? <laughs> I mean, this is the most stupid cult ever. Why Muhammad allow it? You see, when you say allow it, it's mean. It's not, I was not allowed yet. So he allow it. So if it is wrong, why you allow it? Who is forcing you? You are a prophet of God. You have an army. You have men. You have swords. So you are making a law and you are asking the Muslim to if each other. And then you say, don't if each other. Then you make said the opposite. So the hadith says, but, you know, Harama, you know, he allow, he forbid, he allow, he forbid, he allow, he forbid. I'm going to bust you, okay? I'm mm. going to bust you, all right? Read the, the hadith, read, is, read the hadith. I don't, I see, it says, read the hadith. Says, if a man and a woman marry temporarily, their marriage should last three nights, and if they like to continue, they can do so, and if they want to separate, they can do so. I do not know whether there was us for us, for all the people in general, a limited career that the Prophet said the Muta Prajit uh, marriage has been cancelled. Okay, so it's been cancelled. Okay, that's the thing. Like it's something like alcohol, it was permitted at the start and in then it was gradually ter uh, not allowed. Hmm. So, so your Prophet, he allowed fornication. And by the way, nowhere here it says marry. Does it say the word marriage? Their marriage should Okay, R read for me where it says marriage. Here we go, read the Arabic. It says Faishra, Ayuma Rajurin wa Imraata wa Faqa, Faishra to Ma Baina Huma, Thalatulayal, Ishra to F each other. There's no marriage. You Muslim, you lie when you translate. So, any why, any women, any man, they like each other, they like to F each other, they agree, they can do sleep together for three days, three nights. And if they like to increase, they can increase. Does it say that or making things up? Does say that. Okay, so what kind of a prophet and why he would allow you to if a woman for three days, three nights, and you have to pay her? Because it's it's it's, it's it was <coughs> gradual, uh, gradually not allowed. It had to be taken at specific time. What's, what, why at specific time? Was it allowed in the time of Jesus? Was it allowed in the time of Moses? Did did Moses says you can go and do muta three days, three nights? Don't you Muslim, you claim that you are, Moses is a Muslim, and Isa is a Muslim, and then you do the opposite of what Moses taught and what, what Isa taught, supposedly? <coughs> it's, it's because Quraysh, because the, the Kuffar around used to make What Kuffar? Those are Muslims. It's you are the Muslim who is doing Zina now, not, not the Kuffar. The Kuffar don't do what you do. They are better than you. This is Muhammad teaching your 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 daughter 
to go and rent herself. And let me ask you, is it true that you Muslims believe that muta is a kind of rental? If if muta was halal, why 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 we don't do it in a lot of our countries? You just said you just said your prophet he allow it. And first. So if you are exist, if you are exist in the time of Muhammad, you will be doing it right, right now. If you, if Muhammad was here, right now, you will be doing it. So does it matter really if it's allowed now or not? Okay, okay. Let me, let You're, me, let me. I'm asking you: Is it true that muta is a kind of renting, like you rent a car? Yes. Know, yes, or no? yes or no? Yes or no? Is it true? Is yes, it true? Is it yes. true? Okay, so yes. what kind yes. of a prophet he allow you to rent a woman? Yes, it was allowed at first because gradually, <laughs> gradually, no, muta is agreement. It was an agreement between two people at first. Hmm. So is it a rent? So, is it a rental? So it was at first. It was is it, is it, a, is it a rental? To stop fornication. Is it, is it, a, is it, how you stop fornication by fornication? You are fornicating. By, by starting, by making it three days and then stopping it. Okay? So, you for, so, it. so, so, so now you are allowed to fornicate for three days. It's better than fornicating for five minutes. A guy, he go to a prostitute, he pay her. He fornicate with her for half hour, she go home, he go home. Now you have a contract of fornication. Muhammad he made Muhammad he made he made the prostitution legal. Why does it matter? Because it it's was matter I'm first. asking you, is it true that in Islam you rent the women? Yes or no? You rent her. No, no, we can't do that. Okay, okay read it then. Re this is your Muslim website. It says Muta, here read with me carefully if you know how to read. If you are not illiterate okay, like your pro could, shut up, could, could, shut up, and losing my patience with you. It says here, in some work, special term is applied to women who practice muta, musta'ajara, or rented women. Muta is considered as a kind of rental, because in general, man, basic aim is this in this kind of marriage, is sexual enjoyment of women. In return for his enjoyment, the women receive certain amount of money or property. Isn't it? This is exactly what prostitution is. Okay, this is uh, this is a Shia website. <clears throat> well, my friend, okay. a Shia, they are following Quran and they are following your prophet. Well, well, well why, why we Sunnis don't do that? Hold on, hold on. The Quran says the Quran, the Quran says you do muta. Can you show me a verse in the Quran says don't do muta? Okay, the, the first, some said it says that, some said no. But you are a liar, you are a liar. Not a single scholar say it doesn't say that. Prove me wrong. Ibn Kathir, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Al-Jalalain, everybody says that Al-Muta is there. Why you are lying? The four Imam of the Muslim Sunni, the four sect, they agree that chapter 4 verse 24 is about the Muta. Not only the Shia. So the Shia, they are more decent than you. They are following what the Quran is saying. And when you say it's abrogated, can you show me the verse abrogating the verse? Where is the verse says don't do muta no more? Why well, hadiths there are many Thank things. you very you much. So you must have you follow a hadith written, written 300 years after Muhammad. Okay. Shut up. Your... Shut up. Hold on. And you say to us how you follow a book written 60 years after Jesus. So you follow a book written 300 years after Muhammad. How about the listen, Bible? Old listen, listen, but, but, but listen. So now you are saying you are uh, you are fighting against the Quran because somebody he exists three hundred years after Muhammad said that Muhammad he said this is forbidden. Do you have a proof that this guy he is giving how many hadith I showed you? And he keeps saying to me, this is not true, this is rejected, this is not accepted. Some, some so listen, are, listen, this some. is just to show you the hypocrisy. When you Muslim, you want something to be accepted, you accept. When it's embarrassment, you reject. So now, because there's a hadith says that the prophet, he did uh, forbid it. Oh, finally, we are clean from this garbage. So now we can say to the Christians, it's forbidden. In the front of everybody, what if I show you that the muta practiced by the caliphate after Muhammad's death? Okay, but whoever did this, it's 
it's not allowed because I said the no caliphate. I said the caliphate. Where there were many, there were many. I said so the caliphate. The, I said the caliphate, the Sahaba. <laughs> if they did, they didn't know it was become haram anyway. So hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> So the Sahaba, they are practicing something haram after Muhammad did? Anyway, CP. Anyway, CP. Anyway, what? Time. Anyway, hold on. Did you, did they, did, they, did the Sahaba, the campaign of Muhammad, even. did the caliphate, the, the, the first campaign of Muhammad after Muhammad death, they still practicing with ayahs or not? Even even if so, even if the hadith is true, it's, it says, you know, when they say it's false, they say, when the, the, the people that say it's true, they say it, he didn't know. It could be a sahabi that didn't know at first that it's been abrogated, okay? And it's been abrogated. And the evidence that we don't rec we don't do zina in our countries, we don't commit muta in our countries, only she has do that. We have a clear ruling by all our shiuch that it's not permitted for us to commit muta. Okay, none of the people I know commits muta. Okay. So why? So, if, so, halal, so if, why Abu if Abu Bakr, if Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr, he, who is the one who is going to practice forbidding what Muhammad forbid? Isn't it the caliphate? Is it the caliphate? The one who forbid it is a prophet. Okay. A prophet, like, and then like we... as long as as long as long it is the prophet, who is going to forbid it after the prophet? No one can forbid it after the prophet. The prophet forbid it, and he, no one can say it. That's what I'm saying. Then, if the prophet he forbid it, so then the caliphate after that. They should forbid it too, right? <laughs> Hello? Are you there? I'm there. I'm okay. There. So, if Allah Prophet, he forbid it, then the Caliphate should forbid it, correct? Prophet cannot forbid it, okay? But okay, so, so, okay, so when when the caliphate, when Muhammad he die and it's forbidden, I mean, those are the first one in the time of Muhammad, not like Al-Bukhari who came 300 years after. So if it's forbidden, then the caliphate is the first one should not practice it, correct? Hello? Okay, I'm here. Okay, I'm here so did the caliphate practice the muta after Muhammad's death? No, no one committed the muta after his death unless they didn't hear about it's not being allowed. It's like it's like saying like people commit zina like zina in the West doesn't mean Jesus allowed it. Okay, it's here like we go. Divorce. Divorce is done in This America. is the hadith. Listen carefully. This is the hadith. Okay, is it Sahih? The muta came in the book of Allah, and we did it with Rasulullah. Your Prophet, he used to do muta too. And no Quran came to forbid it until the Prophet he died. Do you see it? And it says, This is Sahih. Al Masdar al Bukhari. Do you see it? Just, just because it's from Bukhari doesn't mean it's Sahih. Oh, so now Al-Bukhari is a lie too. Whatever no. we show you, it's a lie. No, no. It says Sahih in the front of your eyes. You claim you speak Arabic. Where does it say Sahih? It's, it's in the front of you. It says Sahih. Here we go. Sahih, Sahih. Sahih. Okay. Page number 4518. Okay. Okay. Sahih. Okay. And this is the and this is the hadith in English, Al Bukhari, can, Sahih. Can you zoom out? Can you show me the hadith again? And here we go.
ريد انزلت ايه المتعة في كتاب الله ففعلناها مع رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم Okay. So there was, was Mot'a and... Uh, hold on, but it says here, and nothing came to forbid it until the Prophet died. Nothing came to forbid it. Because the Sahabi didn't know. At no, no, the listen, one. what do you mean did not know? وَلَمْ يُنْهَا عَنْهَا حَتَّى مَاتْ And nobody, according. listen, listen, and nobody forbid it until he died. This is according to him, but all the other scholar, all the Sahaba. What a scholar, my friend. This is Sahih. This is Al Bukhari. And look what the Muslim they, you know, they, they, they lie. Here they add the word Hajj, the verse of Hajj. This doesn't say that here in Arabic. It says, "Unzilat ayatul muta fi kitab Allah, la fafalna ha marasul Allah." Here they add the word Hajj, which is a lie, and nothing came to forbid it until Muhammad died. After Muhammad died, the caliphate, they are the one who forbid it. The, this is his point of view. Because he, no, because he no, didn't it know. says here, it says here, and the first one who first uh, uh, for, for, forbid the muta, it was Umar. Read with me. Umar. He is the first one who forbid the muta. So the, the Muslim, they lie when they say Muhammad is the one who forbid the muta. Which means all the caliphate before Umar, they practice it. Uthman, he practice it. Whatever flows your boat, okay? Because I think so. My friend, stop being stupid. It's in the front of your eyes. You got busted, my friend, and you get served. And awwala ma naha anha kana Umar. Who is your God? It's not Muhammad we forbid it. This is a lie. The first one, the first one who forbid it, it was Umar. Is that a Shia website? No. Is that a Shia book? No. Is that a Shia statement? No. So stop lying. Your prophet never forbid the muta. It was Umar. And as you see, no verse came, nobody forbid it, and Muhammad he practiced it, and you and Muslims, are, you are following a fornicator, your God is a fornicator, can you, can and you your read? God, your God is a pen. Can you read? It means in Hajj, in Hajj, in... My friend, my friend, do you, do you, uh, do you uh, is it forbidden now to do muta in Hajj? Is it forb it's forbidden? And what no is muta in Hajj? It? What muta in Hajj mean? <laughs> no one does it. You must no have a bunch of joker. This is an Abdul. It says here in the front of you, there's no Hajj. This is the Arabic. Read it with me. There's no Hajj. This is in English. They are a liar. Do you see Hajj here? It says for. You see. Okay, but, but this is in translation, not in Arabic. In the top, you see, in the top, in the next, okay. next line. Uh, okay, hold screen. on. Okay, so listen. So, if this is bil Hajj, so it says it is came in the book of Allah. Which verse it says you can do muta by Hajj? Which verse? It says the book of Allah, right? Ayatul Muta. No, no, it says Nazarat Ayatul Muta fi Kitab Allah. Ayatul Muta. You see, it says Aya. <clears throat> what Muslim they doing? What the Muslims in doing the Hajj with Muta? What does that mean? Okay, all I could say is that we don't do muta in our country. Why you don't okay. do muta in your country? How come you do the wajib friend? The wajib is not muta. The wajib friend is muta. You Muslims, it's a contract. It's a contract for sex. No, no, it's contract for everything, not just sex. No, it says temporarily. There is no marriage in Islam. <laughs> in, in, in Christianity, why do you? You do that. In Christianity, even you cannot divorce unless she do or he do, you know, cheat. So that that's it. That so listen, listen, listen. Because in Christianity there is a real marriage, divorce is extremely hard. 
In Islam, there is no divorce because there is no marriage. And let me ask you, in the case of Muta, there is a divorce? Okay, let me ask you, is there any divorce? There, there is a divorce if you are doing Muta. In Islam, there is divorce. There no, there is, is no an, divorce. You are a liar. There is a, there is a surah called the talaq. <coughs> it's a surah called the divorce. Talaq. Okay, but, uh, but, but divorce is an end of contract, not an end of marriage. Because nikah does not mean marriage. Surah Talaq, Surah 65. Okay, okay. Surah Talaq. talaq but how you do talaq? You say just one word, correct? And the contract is ended. Okay, that means there's no marriage. It's just one word. You see, no. marriage, hold on, marriage is between two people, correct? With the, with the agreement of the father of the person. Uh, no, you're a prophet. He can if anyone without agreement of father. Is that true? He have a privilege. <laughs> His penis is special. <laughs> So listen, listen. So, if, okay, with the agreement of the father, guys, agreement of the father, that's supposed to make it better. So now you have an agreement with the father. Who is the one who dissolved the agreement? One man. The, the father and the person. That's a li woman. You are a liar. You divorce without permission from the father. Stop lying. No, no, I'm not saying about okay. divorce. Okay, so the woman, that. so the woman, she is not the one who chose the divorce. It is the man who divorced her, correct? How it's contract? How is it? It's a contract between two, but only one he make decision. Because simply this is not a contract between two. She is an employee, and he is the employer. It's a contract of employment, not marriage. I see. So I he see. can he can fire her anytime he want, to the point that Muslim today they can even divorce their wife by yes, text yes. by so text. By text message, correct? So you're saying divorce is bad? I'm saying there's no divorce in now. It's, oh. it's a contract. Oh, yeah, that's why there is a surah called divorce. In 65. You, you can call it a divorce, but it's not divorce. Oh, okay, you're saying because Islam has divorce, it's like an employment. Well, right? you know, okay, oh. what is the reason for divorce in Islam? Anything? You can, no, it's not, can't, it, it, can, it can't be anything. It has to be a valid reason. You are, a, you are a liar. You are a liar. Even a man, he can beat his wife and nobody have the right to ask him why he did beat her. Beat her lightly. First of all, there's no lightly. And Omar, he said, no man shall ask a man why he did beat his wife. Correct? The Prophet said, beat them like lightly, do not cause injury, do not beat the face. I, I laugh at this because he said, do you beat them lightly? I laugh at this because he just ordered to beat them. Secondly, he said, don't leave, don't break their bones. That is lightly. Secondly, read with me. It says that Omar reported that the Prophet of Allah saying, a man will not be asked about why he beat his wife. Talk about his marriage, divorce. So... He, she is his wife. She became his, uh, you know, his, uh, his his dog. Why a man cannot ask? Why 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 even the father cannot ask? Why you are beating my daughter? Why? I'm not sure about this hadith. Is it true? Like I said, everything has to be corrected. Sahih or not. You see what we learn from you that you Muslims are a bunch of liars, and your books are not trustworthy. The prophet and, said, uh, uh, "Just shut up! Happy. Just shut up!" Because everything I show you. Either you say it's a lie, either you say it is, need to, I, I cannot answer it, or you say, uh, you know, uh, who said that hadith, uh, how we can confirm it, can you prove it to me? So you can, you yourself, you have the book, you publish the book, you translate the book, you preserve the book century after century, and then when you read your book for you, you wash your hands from the book, because all of you are a bunch of liars, you play games, there's no honesty. If I ask you right now, if I want to learn about Muhammad, to which book I should go? Okay, like this, these things, like, like, okay, so because it's divorce, it's employment, Abdul, okay. Listen to in, me, in, in, answer the question. If I want to learn about Muhammad, which book I should read? You should read Sahih, any hadith. I just showed you Sahih al-Bukhari, you refuse it. No, I, I showed no. you Sahih Muslim, you refuse it. I show you all kind of sahih. You refuse it. Some some stuff are sahih. I admit. 
Okay, yeah, so I'm asking you for the last time, as long the Sahih book, authentic book, is not accepted by you. So which book will teach me about Muhammad? If all your books is a scam. It's about each report is Sahih or not Sahih, but so you have- So you are saying to me, you are saying, but what is reported for you, according to you, is not correct. Other scholars agree it's correct. So you must right. you play games. So listen carefully, what we learn from you, that in Islam, there's nothing correct. All the stories Muhammad, Muslims, they have about Muhammad, it might be false. I admit that a lot of what you said is Sahih, but there are several parts that are Sahih, and those are Sahih, they are wrongly interpreted by you, like Mut'a. Mut'a is abrogated, that's why we don't commit it in our country. When you say to me we it's abrogated, show me where the abrogation. Secondly, like the, if, you you if, you, if you abrogate it or not, that will not change anything. Your prophet, he is promoting fornication and promoting prostitution. And by, the way, and by the way, there's a verse in the Quran giving license for prostitution. Like in the Bible, Bible is Old Testament. It was allowed, many things were allowed. No, That's no, a lie. That's a lie. A That's a lie. That is a lie. That's the a lie. That when a woman, she was doing prostitution or fornication, the Jews, they were chasing her to, 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 to stone her, right? Jesus, he did not say don't stone, stone her. Did not say don't practice the law of Moses. But he showed them that they are a bunch of hypocrites because they are chasing the women. Where is the man? And all of them, they are sinners and he knew their sin. So they are not qualified to judge the women. I'm asking you now, when your prophet, he promote prostitution. What was the purpose? Because muta is prostitution. What was the what is what what was the reason for that? It's gradually banning zina. Why gradually? If he allowed it, it was not allowed. He is the one who allowed. Those are Muslims. They he, they were doing it, and he allowed it. No, because if they are doing it, he did not need to allow it anyway. He waited until he forbid it, but he allowed it. He says any man. Any women would like to share the bed together for three days. He even tell them how many days. Okay. So, you <laughs> so why your prophet? He allow prostitution. He doesn't allow prostitution. That's first. Second but, of all, uh, Abdul, you are a liar. When your prophet says three days, three nights, is it this is prostitution? You pay her money. Do you pay her money or not? We don't do that today. No, so, no, so you see, you see, you see how hypocrite you are. You are washing your hand from it, obviously, because it is ugly. We don't do that today, Christian Prince. We don't do that today. Why? Because simply it's evil. So now you claim that you are a good person. We don't do that today. But your prophet, he did it. The companion, they did it. All his followers, they did it. And now you don't want to do it. So you are saying to me, you are cleaner than Muhammad. Muhammad was filthy. Abu Bakr was filthy, Omar was filthy. Today we are not filthy like them. This is what you are saying. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. So did you, did you decide to leave Islam or not yet? No, I'm not leaving Islam because like... Uh, okay, I will uh, ask you one last question just for fun. So we can finish this because I have to go. It's getting so late for me. <clears throat> Your prophet, he kissed the black stone. And you Muslim, you claim that you are not pagan. Why he kiss it? So you're saying kissing the black stone means we worship the black stone, right? Why you are saying to me, you mean, you don't mean? Did I mean anything? I just ask you a question. You start making a, 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 a guessing story. He kissed it. You are, like, you, are, you are like Joe Biden who forgot his name. I'm asking you, why your prophet kissed the black stone? As simple as that. I did not say I mean. I did not say what he mean. I'm asking you why he did that. Why your prophet kissed the black stone? Okay. So you, so he kissed it because it's it's important because it uh, it's because Abraham used this stone mm -hmm. to stone uh, the shaitan. <laughs> So it's a That's memorial. The, so this big stone, he stoned the shaitan with it? Yes. But this is mean the shaitan was touched by the stone. So you are Muslim kissing the stone which touched the shaitan? I, like, I don't see your point. Why is this is bad? So, did, okay, Abraham, he hit the shaitan with the stone and the stone hit the ass of shaitan.
And now you Muslim, you kiss the stone because the stone kissed the ass of the shaitan. Is that what you are saying to me? No, we are kissing because the, the Abraham touched these kind of stones. No, you Indeed. said, everybody heard you. You said, Abraham, he hit the shaitan with it. Did you say that or me? I said that. You said yes. that, right? Okay. Yes. Yes. So now that's mean the shaitan, he is he touched the stone. The, the yes. stone touched the shaitan. Okay. And by the way, did he kill the shaitan or not? When he hit him with the stone? He didn't, he didn't kill him. Man, that's bad. I wish he killed him. But did you notice that the stone is so big? So Abraham, he was he saw the shaitan. Where where do you get this story from? This means, this basically means that it's a memorial of what happened. He rejected the shaitan. He threw the rock. Good, my friend, can you show me the reference of what you are saying? Uh, what I what I know that your prophet said that the black stone is going to have hands. Sorry, it has going to have tongues and eyes, and is going to witness for people in the judgment day. And he did not mention that Abraham he hit the stone. Is shaitan with it? So, okay, you're saying that we basically worship the black stone. I'm not saying right? anything. You see, you keep playing the same the stupid thing I'm saying. <laughs> is it your prophet who said, if you touch the black stone and the Yemeni corner, it erase your sin? Yeah, it will erase the, the sin, not, 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 not the stone itself. We will erase it. Allah will erase the sin. No, it says it says whoever touched them, it erased his sin. It doesn't say Allah will erase his sin. Why you are you adding? Control. Why you are adding words? It's not there. Um, well, I suggest you <coughs> reread the hadith. Here we go. The hate in front of you. So you Muslims are a pagan people who believe stones erase your sin. Read it. <laughs> it's just like doing something that will erase your sin just okay. like doing something but that thing is touching a stone it's like good it's good it's, it's, why touching stone why touching stone erase your sin it's 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 with good intentions like when you do a good thing it's a stone you, doesn't matter i'm asking you, you you see when I, I when i said to you why your prophet he kissed the stone you said to me abraham he hit the stone with the shaitan and this is a stupid reason to kiss a stone so if abraham he said one day in this stone and his ass was on it you must have you kissed the ass of abraham too it's a stone why you are kissing the stone you give me a funny answer and now we find that if you touch the stone it's a race your sin Is it true so, that the stone is the right hand of Allah? No, 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 no. Okay, no. what if I show the reference? Okay, I don't, I don't see, I didn't see such hadith, but there is a hadith that says so, then, then it means, it must mean figuratively speaking, CP. I need you to just understand that if we kiss the stone, we worship the stone, then anyone who kisses his dog or his cat worships his cat. Well, if the cat is a living being and maybe you love her, you know, she is your cat, no problem. But why you kiss a stone? It's a stone. It's not even a, it's not even a, like present anyone. It's a stone. When you kiss, um... Is it true that the stone was the vagina and present yeah. the God of fertility? No. What no, if I no. what if I show what if I show you that from the book of Tafsir, that Muslim women or women before Islam they used to put their hand over their vagina when they have their period because obviously they did not have babies they cannot have babies or they wish to have a baby, and because now they have their period obviously they are not carrying a child, so what they do they touch their vagina and they put their hand inside the black stone which is in the shape of a vagina. CP, kissing someone doesn't mean I, is your ship. My friend, why are you ignoring what I said to you? Is it true that the black stone, according to your books of Tafsir, was the fertility stone and people, they put their hand inside it, touching their vagina with the blood? If there is no Sahih Hadith, I don't consider it true. So you Muslims again, uh, you anything is embarrassment. You say 
this is not sahih. It's not a true. This is how you answer anything I will say to you. When you search, do, do search for each hadith. We, 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 every word you say, we search. We search for the reference. But, but so, there is something... So when you're, something a, when you're a scholars, they, they explain the Quran, and then they come with this interpretation. They did not search the reference. They are scholars. They are scholars. You call them scholars. And now they are they are not searching reference. Yeah, I admit there are a lot of hadiths you mentioned are true, but some are not true. My friend, but my friend, you see, just to show you how stupid this religion is. If the scholars are scholars, call the scholars. Why they aren't the scholars if you don't agree with them? Are they scholars or not? So if the scholars are the scholars, then they should not explain something without being sure from that thing. This is Tafsir Abi Saud, volume number one, page number 160. It says that Gabriel, he came with the black stone from heaven. And this stone was hidden in the Mount of Abu Qubais which is where the Allah, he hide the stone during the flood of Noah, which is funny. And then this stone was white like pearl. And then when the period, the menstruation of women touch it, in the time of Jahiliyyah, it became black. Okay, that's what we said <laughs> in the times of Jahiliyyah, at the times of Jahiliyyah. Thank you very Islam. much. Okay, so, but why the people of Jahiliya used to do that? Because this is the stone of fertility. <laughs> Jahiliya means before Islam. Exactly, and Muhammad is following what before Islam? He is just a pagan like them. So, why it became black when menstruation of women touch it, it become black. And that's what your prophet said. Your prophet says that the black stone was white like pearl and the sin of mankind Make it black. What what sin is talking about? Those Arab they believe that the woman she cannot carry a child, either her or her husband did something wrong. So the gods are punishing them not to have babies. So what they do, they go when they have their menstruation, they touch their vagina, and then they put their hand with the blood inside the black stone. And if we look at the black stone, we will see that the black stone looked like a vagina. Can you explain why the black stone looked like a vagina? This is first a tafsir, okay? And this is your tafsir. This is your tafsir. Don't tell me this is the tafsir. Don't, 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 don't tell me this garbage. You see, I'm showing you your, 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 you Muslims. Those are your website. Those are your library. Those are your big scholars. So when you try to wash your hand from it, people laugh at you because those are yours, not ours. So. Why you Muslims say something is not true about your religion? Why you say it's a vagina if it's not a vagina? You see, I can blame the Christians. No, I cannot because Christians supposedly are fighting Islam or Jews or Hindus. But this is you Muslims. You Muslims are worshipping a vagina. And the black stone is made in the shape of a vagina. And the black stone become a black. It was a white vagina and became a black, as you see from that interpretation, because they used to put their hand inside the black stone, which is in the shape of a vagina, okay. 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 to overcome their sin. Just one last thing. When your prophet, he says, this black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day. Hmm. Did he say that, or you believe it, or you don't? I believe this. Okay, so how come there's nothing left of the black stone? Nothing left. Look what left. Few little tiny rocks. The rest is rocks. So you have a stupid God. He told you the black stone is going to witness for you in the judgment day, but there's nothing left of the stone. There's a few tiny little tiny rocks in the size of your booger. There's no stone. And they have to do maintenance to the black stone every few days and they add wax to the stone you know you, you can go right now and search and this is a proof that muhammad is a fraud because if this is stone if this is stone is going to be witness for you in the day of judgment is then, this uh, is there anything wrong with 
testifying? Who told, who told you like My this? My friend, this hold on, not... hold on. How is going to testify? If there's no stone left, there's a small rhino rocks is gone. Do you see the guy? What? Do you see the what? guy? Look, look, look at the screen. Look, look, there's a video on YouTube. Search for the black stone mint and I see what die laughing. Allah could not preserve the black stone, which is his holy stone. Abraham, he hit shaitan with it. Allah, he sent it to Adam to build the Kaaba. The black stone is the right hand of Allah. The black stone is going to witness for us in the day of judgment. It's going to have eyes and tongue. CP. And then we find that there's no stone left. CP, what are you talking about? We are throwing the stone every day and it will testify, okay? What stone you are throwing? We are talking about black stone, you idiot. You don't throw the black stone, you throw rocks. Those, they get them, get them to you to, from the dump. Here we are talking about the black stone of Allah. There's no stone left. There's a small, tiny rocks. They embedded inside the rocks. So when Allah, he promised you that this stone is going to witness for you. And then we find that the stone is gone. That is laughable. Don't you agree? Be honest. You need to do maintenance for Allah. Promise? Allah could not preserve... Allah could is, not preserve his there stone. Is no, there is no evidence that it's not there. Uh, and I need Abdul, to tell it's in front of you. What's wrong? Do you mean it's not there? Please go watch YouTube. They are doing the waxing every few days. This is wax. There's no stone left. There's nothing, nothing left. There's a small, tiny rocks, in, not even the size of a little nail. And they put rocks at the, uh, around them and they claim that those little tiny rocks is from the black stone. But even that, there is no proof of that. What is the proof that those are even from the black stone? Okay, I need to uh, explain to you <laughs> when it said this stone will be a witness against us. It has heard all the words from your Lord has said to that. It says there in Joshua 24, 27, it says stones will testify. So it's no, it's not a problem that stones testify. That's Abdul, Abdul, and I can show you that even Jesus, he quoted that, and you are stupid. The stone will testify. That's mean you cannot lie about what you did, what you done. Everything is witnessing for what you did. But this is not real stone is going to go and talk and walk. You're a prophet. He claim here that the stone is going to have a real tongue, real eyes. And now we have a problem because the stone is gone. There's no stone, and this is a special stone, not any stone. The black stone, and it's a holy stone for you. And you kiss it, and as you see, when you touch it, it erase your sin, and it's going to witness for you. So when we see that this is nothing left, it's mm -hmm. gone. So the promise of Allah that the stone will witness for the judgment day, it was a false prophet stone prom promise, because nothing left of the stone. How the stone will witness if there's nothing left? <clears throat> All what you see there is a brown walks there's no stone so where is the tongue will be what rocks we don't have a rock you are a pagan and your prophet is a liar and he is following no, what people no, no, okay no. let me ask you is it true that before islam people they look for a stone if they find a better stone than the stone they have they throw the previous one Uh, you could don't like tell me about what before Islam is. Talk to me but about. But it's the same Islam. Uh, before Islam is the same as after Islam. As you see, this is what the Muslims they have. It's the same what the pagan they have. The black stone is the same stone. Well, Christianity like took some some uh, the, the 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 places of worship. They made it the same. They used it as a place of worship for churches. For example, <laughs> the the Roman locations. So it doesn't this mean have to that do with this, but we don't kiss a stone. The Roman they use the worship. But you kiss the any, Arab. You kiss hold cat. on, the Arab, the Arab they worship stones, and if they could not find the stone, they make they they milk, they milk uh, uh, a camel milk, milk, and they mix it with dirt, with dirt, and they make it look like a stone, and they worship it, read it. And just to show you that this is a very pagan practice religion. We don't, we don't worship is the it, stone. We is don't. it true? Is it true that people in the time of Muhammad they used to walk around the Kaaba naked? 
if the pagans did it, we don't we don't do it basically. And I need to tell the, you the something. pagan did it and the Muslim did it because this is right. this is this is not forbidden by Muhammad we, until we, the last year. So we Muhammad don't do it. listen. Muhammad he took the Kaaba, he's in control. Why he did not forbid this right away? Why why well, he was watching who? So, it was gradual. Like I said, everything hold is Hold on, gradual. hold on. Okay. So your God, Allah, he have time to talk about uh, not to eat pork. But he don't have time to say something ugly. The people do walk around the Kaaba naked. Huh? Like like I said, everything in is in Islam has been... No problem, Arab, but you are a prophet of God now. Listen, okay. Now Muhammad, he cannot change that. He is not in control. He is cannot give command. But shouldn't Muhammad scream, says, shame on you to walk naked around the Kaaba, the house of Allah. He is not a, he is not in charge now, but he can to change to change society. You need to change it gradually. You can't do everything. So look at, the, look at the hypocrite. Which one is more important? People drinking wine or people going around in the cab or in the house of Allah totally naked? Which one is more important? Eating pork? Even, Listen, even, which one is more important for even, Allah? Uh, can't even, Muhammad make a verse? Even if he could not change them, he can say, he can even say, hold on, just show you how stupid what you are saying. People going naked around the Kaaba. Jesus, he went to the temple. He found the Jews buying and selling, not in the temple, not even in the first square, not even in the second square outside the square of the of the temple he flipped the table on them they are not walking naked they are not going without panties and bra women and men they are not having sex party this is just buying and selling he flipped the table on them you're a prophet he spent his life never never ever make a sentence against people walking around the Kaaba naked. Why? Even if, if it's true, if the Hadith is true, then it was gradual. You can't tell someone suddenly, don't do this until you do it gradually. You have to spread it. What a gradually, society. my friend. Shouldn't you tell them first it's wrong? Gradually. Like, uh, this, this, just, 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 just get lost. You are just a scam. This is a Just get lost. I'm done with you. What a fraud you are. Gradually, this is the house of God. The black stone is there, the most holy place for Allah. And then people going around the Kaaba wearing no bikini, not with the bikini. The man is walking and his penis is flying in the air. The woman is walking and her vagina is shiny. And Muhammad did not notice that there is something wrong. And he will do it gradually. Is that what the prophet of God will do? You see people walking naked, it's okay for him. So he starts saying to them, worship Allah, but you don't care for people practice and such a practice? Huh? This is telling us, and not only that, if you read my book, Sex and Allah, you will find that Muhammad, when he saw a woman, he liked her, he wanted to sleep with her. She was singing. This is what we show, and it's not available. Obviously, she is saying that to Muhammad, because he was staring at her ass and her vagina. Uh, only in this time, because he wanted this woman, only Muhammad then, he remember. And now he's in control of the Kaaba. Only then, according to Muslims, they don't allow it to do no more. So all those years, Muhammad was watching, enjoying women going totally naked around the Kaaba. And then we need to ask ourselves, what was the religion which they used to practice?
Turning back, no turning 